welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys what I've done to my car. Um, nobody's asked, but I'm going to do it anyways because I'm excited to do it. So my car's a work in progress, but I'm pretty happy with how it's looking right now. Those of you who maybe just picked up the car and you don't really know what to do cosmetic wise to the outside of the car, maybe this video can help you for performance mods this is not the video for you I've done zero performance mods so call me a racer if you want I will gladly call myself a racer if you guys have any questions leave them below I will get back to you 30 subscribers will do that to a person so as I was recording these clips I didn't realize that there was a super busy highway right behind me as you guys can see in this clip here. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover for the rest of the video, um, cause the audio in those clips is completely useless, but oh well. As I'm going through what I've done to my car, I'll list the prices on screen for you guys, just in case you're interested. The prices will be in Canadian, but I'll also add the US conversion for you guys if you're from the States. Just keep in mind that the prices that will be shown in the US conversion are probably not going to be the accurate price of what you'd pay if you were to pick up these parts in the States. So anyways guys, let's get into it. So this is my 2019 Toyota 86 in the color dark grey metallic. Before this one, I did own a 2015 Scion FRS. I'll insert a picture of it here. I love that car and it still holds a special place in my heart, but I do love the front bumper of the 86 a little bit more. Uh, so on that note, we'll start with the front end of the car. So these headlights are the V-Land headlights. I got the HID conversion kit for them as well, and I picked them up from JSpec Performance for $620. To me, they're the best looking lights that you can get for this car. They make it look more aggressive, but also they make the car look a lot more high-end than it actually is. I've gotten a lot of compliments on the sequential turn signals. Um, they, they just look really cool and they're very bright. The turn signals are very bright. One thing though about these headlights that a lot of people, including myself, complain about is the actual light output from the headlight beam. So I leave pretty early in the mornings and I struggle on a regular basis to see the lines in the road, especially if it's raining or it's foggy out. These headlights do a horrible job at lighting up the road. So I think the LED kit might be a bit better in terms of light output and the beam pattern, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So I'd say if you're interested in these lights, do some research on which kit people think is better, either HID or LED. So my car came with a license plate relocator, so I don't really have much to say on it. Um, you can get them from anywhere really for like 40, 50 bucks. So one of the more recent mods that I've done to my car was that I plasti dipped my emblems and I'm not sure how I'm liking it. I think I might take it off and go back to the silver emblems. I think I like how the silver emblems looked before a bit more. The matte black to me is starting to look a bit cheap and tacky, so we'll see, but that's the beauty of Plasti Dip. You can always take it off. So next up, let's talk about my front lip. So this is the K-Style front lip from JSpec, and I paid $190. This is one of those mods that's really simple and quick to do, um, but it makes such a big difference to the look of the car. I really like this lip and I feel like it's really aggressive, but also kind of thin and flexible. So I feel like it's not going to rip off as easily while I'm driving. So I got these side markers from Amazon for about $50. Uh, they look a thousand times better than the OEM ones, so I'm pretty happy with them. Next up, we have my window visors. So I picked them all up from Racing Bees. 
The side window visors were $60 and the rear one was $100. This is another pretty easy and simple mod to do, but it adds a little bit more aggressiveness to the car. For my suspension, I am lowered on Eibach Pro Kit Springs. I bought them from JSpec for $430. They are definitely a bit stiffer than stock suspension. But they're honestly not that bad. My boyfriend and I, we installed them ourselves, so we saved a pretty decent amount on installation. And they lowered me about an inch all the way around. I feel like I'm high enough to survive the Canadian winters up here, but I'm low enough that when I get my aftermarket wheels, hopefully in the spring, I'll still look pretty good. So next up we have my side skirts and my duck bill. So I picked up these side skirts, they're the TRD V2 side skirts from JSpec for $300 and the L-Type duck bill spoiler I picked it up from Racing Bees for $250. I also got them both paint matched which costed another $300. The side skirts and my duckbill have honestly made the most difference in terms of how the car looks and they're definitely my favorite part of my car right now. The only thing I'll say is that the duckbill, the fitment isn't perfect. There's a little bit of a gap on either side, but it's not that noticeable unless you're right up close to it. So now for the back end of the car, I have the V-Land taillights in clear. Uh, which my boyfriend bought for me off of Amazon for $345. I also have the V-Land smoked fourth brake light, which I got from a local shop for $200. For some reason, even though my taillights are clear, but then the fourth brake light is smoked, they still match really well. Um, so I'm pretty happy with them. They look really good together. I also transferred over from my FRS the 2013 to 2016 style diffuser and spats. I personally don't like the new diffuser that was made for my year of car, so I'm pretty happy with this one. The only thing is the holes don't really line up very well, so I just had to use a lot of zip ties, but it still worked out pretty good. So last but not least is my exhaust. So my boyfriend's friend works at a muffler shop, so he did a muffler delete for me as well as a resonator delete. Um, I don't know what size tips he put on, but they're larger than the stock ones. with the way it sounds and for the time being I am in no rush to get an expensive full exhaust setup. So that wraps up everything I've done to my car so far. I'll put the total on screen for you guys so you can know how much I've spent so far on everything. I didn't take in how much I've done to this car until I started making this video and I realized how many things I've had to talk about. I hope some of you found this helpful. Maybe I gave you guys some ideas on what to do next to your car. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one.